Hey guys, Agent here. Welcome back to my channel. I kind of want to get back to the root of why I started this channel and talk a little bit more about specifically war driving. At least that's the first couple of videos I made. What I want to talk about today though is just a step, another step in the Wiggle Wi-Fi app. So one of my previous videos I went over what the Wiggle Wi-Fi app is and, and how it's one of the easiest ways to get started in war driving. Today I kind of want to show how that can be automated in your Android phone. And I'll, I'll have a link to this article that, or this form post right here in the description. And it, it'll give you the little things we need that you can just copy and paste directly from, which will be these right here. Start scanning, pause scanning, upload current, and stop Wiggle Wi-Fi. So to do this, we will be using an app called Tasker. Everything I have in this Tasker app so far has been strictly for war driving. But there's two different ways. I mean, there's a hundred different ways you can set it up. You can set it up however you want, but I'm going to show you triggering it off of time and triggered it off of connecting to a Bluetooth device. But first, let's talk real quick about what each of these does. So start scanning over here, as mentioned, will start your scan. Pause will pause the scanning. Upload does like it says. The big one here is stop. The stop wiggle Wi-Fi, the net wiggle dot wiggle android dot end is actually closing out of the app. So to start these automations, we need to create a couple of tasks. And there's only two tasks you really need to start. So for start wiggle Wi-Fi, it's simple. Launch app and then send intent. But let me show you kind of how that looks. So when you create a task, this is what it'll look like. And the first thing we're gonna do is just open the app, which is just to go to select app, app action, launch app, and then you pick the app you want. I'm not really going to create this task because I've already got it created, but I just kind of want to show you these steps real quick. Well, maybe I will create more of it than I thought. So wiggle. And it gives you a handful of options. You can always look deeper into those later, but this is for for our purposes right now, this is good enough. So that will actually launch the app Wiggle Wi-Fi. The next thing we want to do is we want to do the start scanning. And I want to look at how I had it up here. Okay, because this packages is something we need to remember and I'll get to it in just a second, but I when I originally set this up, I had forgotten it. Anyway, we'll go to select another action category. And it was... System and Send Intent. So the action is this right here. Just copy and paste it. The thing we really need to remember though is package. You have to have a package in here otherwise this intent won't work. So the package is just the first part of these intents over here which down here in the implementation notes, it tells you that you must also include the package, which is that first part. So there it's added. So that first task is complete now. Now, whenever we call for this task, it will launch the app and start scanning. If you don't want the app to be opened up in the background, 
Uh, I'm sure you can find a task that will kind of close it out. You'll just have to look at all the individual things yourself. I had to dig a little further in. These are the basics. Tasker can do uh, many amazing things. But this is just a simple, let's get this automated. So let's take a look at my upload wiggle data intent or task. So first, <clears throat> to upload, uh, originally I didn't have this launch app in the upload, but I found that many days it wasn't uploading because a lot of times I just leave it running in the background. So for some reason it wouldn't send the intent without it being opened. So I add, added the launch app again, which we just went through how to do. Next is another send intent, and most of the rest of them will be send intent. And this time I want to pause. This is just something I like to do. I know many people don't pause it ever. They'll just close out. But I pause it, and that's why I also have the start scanning and the starting action. And then we have the upload, which is just similar as pause and scan, but it's upload at the end. And again, don't forget to add your package. For all of these send intents, it'll be added in your package. This weight, I want to change this because a minute is excessive. It usually doesn't take very long for, even after war driving all day, it doesn't take very long for it to actually upload. So I'm just going to change it to half a minute, 30 seconds. And then finally, I just want to close out the app because at the end of the day, I'm done. That's it. There's no reason for it to continue running on my phone. And it's again, end, and then your package. So after you get all your tasks set up, I'll go ahead and delete this one real quick. Oops. All right, I'll deal with that later. So now, after you have your task, you want to create profiles. Currently, I've just been starting it in the morning because I, I do a lot of driving. So in the morning, I'll turn it on, let it go ahead and connect and everything. And then it'll just stay, hopefully, in the background most of the day. Every once in a while, it'll close itself, so you have to reopen it. But for the most part, it stays on all day. Not everyone likes doing this. And then I have it set at the end of the day, around the time I'm settling down and for sure going to be home, that's when it's going to upload my Wiggle data straight to Wiggle. But creating these are simple. You just add in the bottom, choose what you want. Uh, so time, you just saw, from, to, you don't have to have a two, but you can. Or, you do have to have a two, sorry. But, like mine, it's from 8 to 8.02. So that doesn't stay running all day. But Wiggle will continue to run. And then at 11, it uploads the, my Wiggle data. But I feel this Bluetooth connected one is the one that most people are going to want to use. I ha It's set up so that when I connect to a specific Bluetooth device, this is a Bluetooth device inside of my truck, it will start Wiggle Wi-Fi. And then it has the screen arrow as a start task. So when, it's, when it connects, it'll start Wiggle Wi-Fi. And then when this is no longer true, it, an exit task will start, which will upload my Wiggle data. So this makes it so anytime I get in my truck and connect to my Bluetooth, it'll start start my Wiggle Wi-Fi app and start war driving. So that's probably more likely what a lot of people will use just simply because they're going to be war driving in their vehicles. I know some people war drive whenever they're riding their bikes or walking, and you can set up other tasks like that. But let's look into this Bluetooth connected one real quick. We'll create another version of it. So for the Bluetooth, we do state, net, 
and Bluetooth connected. So once you get to this screen, if you hit this search button, you can see the Bluetooth devices that you've picked, that you've connected to. So it, it'll throw in the name there, and then you can do the address as well by clicking the search. And then once you get out of it, here, let's go and create it again. State net just do standard Bluetooth connect. So you press back and then it'll ask you to add a task to that. So let's add the new one we just created, start wiggle test. Now if we want to add an exit task to it, we'll just hold on this here and then add exit task. And there we can do the upload wiggle data. So now, anytime I connect to a Bluetooth device, it'll start the wiggle Wi-Fi. And then when I disconnect, it'll disconnect my Bluetooth wiggle Wi-Fi. So very simple. Uh, like I've mentioned a couple times now, there are a hundred different things you can do with Tasker. It's it's an infinitely powerful automation. One of the best automation apps I've used on my phone. But there's a, sw a simple run through of how to actually connect it to and use it with Wiggle so that you can automate your war driving. I I've had a month where I didn't war drive much just simply because I was lazy and I never actually turned on my app or never gra dra grabbed my war driver. It just wasn't on my mind. This makes it to where I'll always at least be collecting something. So even if I'm in a new, it, or when I go to a new place, Hopefully, one of these tasks will be started and I will be war driving. So this is an easy way to continue to war driving without it being at the front of your mind all the time. So in, in the comments, any other ways you've automated this or other profiles that you've used to start and end your uh, war driving, share them with us. Uh, let us know what you've done. Uh, if there's any other cool task or videos you've seen on tasker that you want to share or anything information about this share it in the comments but other than that like subscribe uh, this will be my monday video i don't know if i'll get another one this week or if i'll just have another one for next monday but i look forward to what's upcoming i'm going to continue to pump out these videos at least weekly thanks for those who've already subscribed and if you haven't like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.